Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach, and this is my review of M. Night Shyamalan's latest film called Old. Now, I'm gonna kind of focus on non-spoiler stuff at the beginning and then get into spoiler stuff a little bit later. Of course, I will uh, give a spoiler warning. That way, if you haven't seen it, you know, nothing will be ruined for you. You can check out at that point. Now, if you've seen the, you know, um, uh, if you've seen the trailers, um, it's, it's a movie about um, this group of tourists that, that ends up on this beach, you know, um, it's supposed to be very secluded and all of a sudden they start like aging very rapidly, right? That's the basic premise. It's actually based off of this um, graphic novel called Sandcastle by Pierre Oscar Levy and um, Frederick uh, Peters. And when uh, it was given to M. Night Shyamalan by his daughter and once he saw it, he was like, I have to option this and kind of, you know, base it's not a translation of it, you know, it's not an adaptation, but it's just kind of inspired by that, right? And and so forth. And the thing of it is, as a premise, this is very enticing. It, it, there's, you know, we all fear getting old. And, you know, um, as much as we say that, we don't always live life to the fullest. We don't um, take... Uh, you know, take advantage of every second of every day or whatever. Um, we kind of take our loved ones for granted oftentimes and the people closest to us. So it's just a great kind of microcosm for an inherent fear with, within us and yet how we still manage to waste that. And this movie in particular, uh, it starts off following this family. So, you know, a husband, a wife, and their two kids, you know, um, an older daughter and a younger son. And then they kind of interact with um, these other uh, um, tourists, right? You know, there's there's a, there's another couple. Then there's um, there's a, th a third couple that's uh, you know it's got a, a doctor husband, um, a wife, their young daughter, and and um, the doctor's mother, right? So these are kind of the characters that we see go towards this beach and so forth. And, you know, kind of things play out from there. The thing of it is, um, it, for me, the characters there figure out the rules a little too conveniently. Uh, I don't think it, uh, I don't think it's that believable, unfortunately. Also, you know, uh, uh, for me, uh, a minor thing was like the aging wasn't consistent. And I know it's hard because, you know, to really pull it off, then you would have to use a lot more actors um, in this sense to be able to do it. Like, you know, um, the, the kids themselves are the ones that age the most because, you know, they start young and go to teenage years, then, then adulthood and so forth. Whereas the adults kind of yeah, the, the adults themselves are like the most inconsistent to me of like seeing how they're supposed to age. Um, but that aside, you know, I mean, I, I get that ultimately that could be considered a nitpick and so forth and, and it could be forgivable. But the reason why I noticed it is just for like the cinematography is interesting. So to me, it's it, I, I didn't mind his choices. Some people are disliking his choices. Um, I actually thought, you know, like, okay, it's some of it seems pretty inventive and cool and uh, unique in terms of like, wow, you picked that camera angle. I wouldn't have considered that, but that's cool that you did and you really played with it and, and it adds some tension to it. The problem I have it mainly is with the character development and, and uh, the dialogue, right? I mean, the premise itself could work, right? Um, without spoiling the end, like just kind of the twist um, you know, some people either are on board with other people are calling it just ridiculous. And I actually don't mind it. it to me, it's the execution of, of, of all of it, really, which is, you know, the characterization and the dialogue. The dialogue in particular is just, I don't think it's the actor's fault. Like, it's just, it's just atrocious. And I don't know why, like, in a lot of ways, it feels like this was a first draft of a script instead of actually being a, the, the version that, that it should be. And it sucks because, you know, you could just, 
you want this, at least I did, I want this to be great. Um, and especially because the premise is so tantalizing. But it just doesn't ever live up. It was just... And, it, and it's, not, it's not bad enough to be like a good bad movie. And certainly not <laughs> you know, good enough to be a good movie. Uh, so it just kind of falls flat for me in this place of like it, it just it, it's just boring and atrocious um sadly and it's unfortunate it really is so um in that sense like like what's weird about it i i, I still think like if you're curious i still think it's worth seeing um because i i, I like the premise itself garners good conversation but not about the specifics of the movie, just about like the ideas it, it raises, right? And that's the part I get excited about, um, which is what bums me out that, that you know, it just never lives up to what it could have in that sense. So um, now as far as the spoiler stuff, so let's kind of get into it, right? The, the ending idea that, you know, this is like a research facility um, that is using these people as experiments and, you know, the ends justify the means sort of thing. I thought that was an interesting premise. Um, obviously, like, it came pretty late on and so it's like the twist and we never really kind of explore that beyond that. I think if it happened like three quarters into the movie, it could have given us a little bit more to play with and really kind of come up because it's not ambiguous enough to like allow you to make a decision on your own whether or not it's you know this that that this should have been a thing um, or not. Um, so it's not like it, it's not like an open ended ending yet. It's not satisfying in, in a, like if you're gonna go the way that it did, where you know the police come and so forth. I think it's just it's just it needed to be explored a little bit more of why they truly are the bad guys um, in that sense. And, you know, furthermore, like, as far as the coral being the thing that got him out, I didn't understand why, right? And I understand, like, it's it's a natural preserve, so, like, you know, the rocks, it already has this, like, mystical power um, and so forth. And I get, like, in a sense, it was, the, the coral was set up as far as you know, because um, Trent's friend gave him this coded message that then is the thing that cracks the code. But in a way, it, 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 it kind of should be like a murder mystery where, you know, as an audience member, it's like you can pick up the clues on your own. Uh, because to my recollection, and, and I might be wrong about this, but I don't remember seeing Coral at all before this. You know, they, I, I certainly they didn't talk about the coral, it, you know, but um, yeah, I, I, if anything, I just wish it was set up as, you know, a, 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 like not that like I wanted to figure out necessarily, but in hindsight, as soon as that reveal comes of like, oh, the coral is the thing that can get them out. I just wanted the ability of oh, like, oh, snap, <clears throat> excuse me. I did miss all those things. And, and yeah, the coral was there all along. Cool. Um, so it's unfortunate in that sense. Um, and you know, I think the, the movie spent a lot of time on the beach and so forth. And, and it's like, which would have been fine, except ultimately we don't get the emotional attachment and, and, and scenes that like those that I think he was going for with those scenes. So that's why I suggest like, instead, you know, let's get to the, the twist three quarters into the movie and spend the rest of the time like kind of, you know, dealing with that, ver you know, versus anything else. Um, and yeah, I, I just think it's a little all over the board, you know, um, the, the doctor who then is just asking about the movie, like it, it's just some ridiculous, I don't know, like I just couldn't take it seriously based off what came before it. And certainly a lot of the lines like, it's just the spe specificity of the line. Like you just know it's just so on the nose because even just seeing the trailers, right? Right off the bat when um, the daughter is singing 
It's like, I can't wait till you're older and sing then. It's like, it just feels like such a forced line. Like, who says that? Um, there's no there's no real reason to say that other than like it's a nod to the audience because we know of like well guess what you're gonna be old pretty quick so you know be careful what you wish for type of thing um, and you know as far as like the husband and the wife you know with the cheating the idea that uh, you know he's always looking to the future and she's always looking to the past it's like that. It didn't really, I, I didn't see how that like actualized itself. You know, is she looking to the past because that's when she didn't have a tumor? Like, okay, uh, maybe I understand that theoretically, but it's like, it, it, it never played into it. And it just, could, it's one of those things like it conveniently tried to hide, withhold the truth versus just making it natural about like the, the, just the tumor aspect of it. Um, and why he was all about the future. It's like, what future was he looking forward to? Because he was about to get a divorce. Um, and furthermore, he's this guy who assesses like, he's like a risk analyst essentially. And so I, I don't think risk analysts really, and, and, and you know, they, it just seemed like he was pretty tense. So why was he always like, why would he be looking forward to the future? unless as a means of confining himself really to do nothing because in the future, everything's scary. You know, he, he, he tells the kids like, you know, most accidents happen, you know, in the living room and specifically on the coffee table, blah, 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 right? And he gives them all the percentages and so forth. And it's like, it just makes you fearful. That doesn't make you like always think about the future. It just, it makes you think about the future as like, what the fuck's gonna happen and it's all bad. So, I don't know, it, you know, it just, it just didn't work for me. And, you know, um, the, the couple that comes in, you know, with the wife that's epilep, ep, epilep, epileptic, I, it just, it just missed the mark in so many ways. And, um, you know, the, the rapper that was there and, I didn't get us like, he just felt like such a character. Like, it was like, what is he doing? I, I don't think he knew what he was doing. Like, the I feel really bad for the actor because he, I think he really tried to work with whatever he could, but there wasn't that much for him. It's like him and this girl came and yes, they have that sense of connection, you know, because of their diseases. And then he feels bad, but it didn't, you know, her swimming out and whatever, it didn't seem to affect them in any sort of way. It's like the stuff that they did say about like their emotions didn't really resonate with whatever they were acting and so forth. Um, and I don't want to blame the actors necessarily. I do think it comes down to the direction and the script and, and it's unfortunate. Um, so yeah, I mean, unfortunately old got old quick and pardon, uh, I mean, pun intended, but I don't mean it just in the physical sense of, you know, the characters, I mean, it like just got boring, unfortunately, um, which is sad. I, w I was I was genuinely looking forward to this movie, and and you know that's what sucks. Like with movies, you know, you go into it like there's this, this there's this like thing that you go into it with like, please be good because I want you to be good. You know, I want to invest my time and so forth, and I, and and I want it to be good, and especially with like movies like this that aren't like franchises and so forth and you know are taking a swing i want these to be rewarded but but it just sucks and and that that like it just doesn't live up to it um and also furthermore like you know i i i have goodwill for m night Shyamalan, but his movies just ultimately disappoint me more so than the not and i wish like other people who swung for the fences that make good art that make good movies also got the chance to uh, be financed, you know, quite frankly, you know, because I think there are some people who could have executed this idea um, or, you know, other unique ideas in this way that, you know, asks us like, what is time and how we interpret time and aging specifically. So anyway, um, it's just some of my thoughts. Um, let me know what you think. 
I'm curious, uh, you know, maybe, I, I know there's, there are people that enjoyed it. You know, I, I've read the Twitter stuff and I, I, it just didn't resonate with me, you know, to each their own, but, um, but I'd be curious, you know, comment, let me know what you did like about it, if you did like it. Um, you know, I'm not gonna shame you by any, any stretch of the imagination, I'm just curious, you know, let me know what did work for you. I shared what didn't work for me but maybe all the things that didn't work for me did work for you. Or maybe you agree with me, or maybe somewhere in the middle. All, all are valid, you know, just share so we, so we can engage in conversation. Um, anyway, thank you for taking the time to uh, listen to my opinion. Um, I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.